in at 40%, most of us. You know, because we're half in and half out. And it's not surprising, because life is difficult. It's like, well, what if you were 90% in? Or 95% in? Or, or all in? Because you're all in anyways, right? It's a, it's a life and death game. No one gets out of this. Everyone dies. That's rule one, right? To stand up straight with your shoulders back is to take on the onslaught and to enter the contentious ring and to do your to do and to do more than your best. Because your best isn't enough. Because your best isn't as good as you could be. You have to push yourself past that. And and that's as far as I can tell where you find what you need in life. You believe that the truth can set you free. You believe that people have an intrinsic divinity about their soul. You decide that you're going to live in that manner and that you're going to let everything about yourself that isn't worthy of that goal die. And that might be almost everything that you are. And that's a terrible thing to contemplate. Uh, the only thing that's worse, I would say, is the alternative. You have to be deadly serious about it. You have to think, okay, like I'm taking stock of myself. And if I was going to live properly in the world and I was going to set myself up such that being would justify itself in my estimation, and I don't mean as a harsh judge, exactly what is it that I would aim at? And often people won't specify their goals too because they don't like to specify conditions for failure. So if you keep yourself all vague and foggy, which is real easy, because that's just a matter of not doing as well, then you don't know when you fail.